Who is Richard Cromwell? He is history itself. The first human born in outer space. His birth marked the end of the golden age of space exploration. The new age came to be known as the colonization era. The moon colony was established, and not long after, the first murder in space took place. In the AI wars, Earth's economy collapsed. Entire continents were left without energy and information. A planet-wide ban on artificial intelligences was put in place. At just 10 years old, the legendary Richard Cromwell signed the Earth Sector Convention. One boy symbolizing an entire people's aspiration towards a civilized, peaceful future. Who was Richard Cromwell? He was my father. On the day I was born, he bought an Orbital Limited bond in my name. Today, it's worth 13,000 times its original value. The year was 2067, the year we discovered the wormhole. My father was appointed captain of Noah's Ark. To this day, I cannot forget the awe that ship inspired in me. It took off when I was 10. It was around that time that I decided I wanted to become an astronaut. I gained a dream, but lost a father. Once I graduated from the academy, I signed up with the Federation fleet. As it turned out, I joined at the worst possible time. OSEC, Orbital Limited, Aerospace, one after the other, the colonies of the mega corporations seceded. At the academy, we could see where it was all heading. It was a strange war. People killing each other, took all the money they had earned and spent it together. The area around Mars became a battleground. It was not our war. We were no more than foot soldiers. Outer space is a calm place. My ship was hit in an encounter near Phobos. And for 10 Earth years, I orbited the red planet in a cloud of space debris. Below me, the Martian war was raging. I could only stare, my eyes frozen to glass. That they finally found me is nothing short of a miracle. They rescued me and reanimated me. No one seemed to care which side I'd been fighting on. I became a war hero in a war that we ultimately lost. The whole of space has changed. The ISA has little authority beyond the orbit of the moon. Corporate fleets and illegal AIs control the outer solar system. With the boom in colonization, there aren't enough experienced captains to meet the demand. Space Tech made me an offer. I took it. Marcus Cromwell, Captain's Log. 0309-2111. We have left Earth sector. Our destination is Jupiter. We face a journey of almost eight months. On the way, we're picking up two Space Tech cargo ships. They're waiting in orbit around the moon. I have been assigned as the leader of the convoy. 0509-2111. The two cargo ships have joined us. Their crews are minimal, but the two captains could talk the rivets out of a bulkhead. It's going to be a long eight months. Fortunately, the Stiletto's 12th sister ship, the ISF Hawking, will be joining us. It's sailing under the ISA flag, but the captain, Francis DeLorean, is an old friend of mine. 0712-2111. I joined the firm three years ago. So much has happened since then. The Mars quarantine, the Ceres crisis. 
I wonder if this mission will be remembered as the Jupiter incident. Twenty-three, twelve, twenty-one, eleven. Like an early Christmas gift, the Hawking finally arrived, two days behind schedule. Francis hasn't changed. It's good to see the old man again. Oh four, oh two, twenty-one, twelve. It seems I was tempting fate. This mission may yet be known as the Jupiter incident. Space Tech's spy satellites are broadcasting some alarming pictures. The Kasaki Syndicate's recent activities have generated a lot of attention. I suspect it's no accident that Francis is on his way there. It's reassuring to have the ISA on our side. O one o three twenty one twelve. The final briefing has arrived. Mission template: reconnaissance, espionage. The Kasaki Syndicate's technological prowess has the mega corporations running scared. According to our intelligence, the source of their revolutionary advances is the Shokenja research station in Jupiter sector. Our task is going to involve surveillance of the station. It may even extend to sabotage or a hostile incursion, if those are our orders. Every corporation in existence would love to pry into the Syndicate's research data. The situation is tense. A confrontation is almost inevitable. 2004-2112. We have arrived at Jupiter Sector and will soon reach Europa. The convoy is heading towards the twin stations Sunflower and Michelangelo. We're receiving a code red from the base. It entails the highest level of corporate security measures. Angelo Station hailing convoy TTC 247. You have reached the arrival zone. Welcome to Jupiter Sector. Thank you, Michelangelo. Convoy dismissed. I'm handing the ships over to you. I can't believe I'm speaking with the Captain Cromwell. They're all talking about you back at the station, sir. It's not often we get celebrities out here. Did you have a pleasant flight? Pleasant? That's not the word I'd use. The most exciting thing to happen in eight months was the toilet backing up. I have transmitted the coordinates to each of the ships. Please stand by in the designated navigation area. Stay clear of the asteroids. We're on a level two alert. Minefields are active. I repeat, minefields are active. Michelangelo, we've got a code red. Yes, Captain, I know. We had an accident a few days ago that left four people dead, so the check-in protocols have been stepped up. The Sunflower is ready to receive you. Talking to Stiletto. We're leaving the convoy and continuing our voyage to the ISA base. It's been a pleasure traveling with you, Marcus. Dock with us next time you're in the neighborhood. I'll be more than happy to give you a rematch. Maybe by then you'll have exhausted the last of your lucky streak. I might just take you up on that, Francis. Don't get your hopes up about the rematch, though. Stratagos is all about strength of tactics. Luck doesn't come into it. <laughs> we shall see, Captain. Until next time, Hawking out. Goodbye, Hawking. Way out to Stiletto. Thanks for the escort, Captain. Travelling with you was truly an honor. May our paths cross again soon. Stiletto, approach the designated nav point. Understood. Sober enough to hold a conversation. Damn it, Frank, not over the radio. Or shall we discuss the time you challenged that lieutenant to a drinking contest and wound up stripping down to your luminescent frog shorts? Okay, okay. We'll talk about it face to face. Smile out.
Task complete. Sir, the Sunflower fighters have arrived. Sunflower patrol calling Stiletto. Do you read us? Please confirm. Encoding OK. We are receiving your patrol. Attention, Stiletto. The minefield protecting the Sunflower is active. We are escorting you in. Copy that, Stiletto. Copy that, patrol. You can start off now. We're going to catch up. Yes, sir. Sunflower deactivates the mines. Deactivation completed. You may head for the Sunflower now. Yes, sir. Stiletto. Copy that, patrol. Boy, oh boy, what a day to be on patrol. The company has built at least 50 Stiletto-class vessels. And this was the first. It's like the big granddaddy of them all. <laughs> You're a pilot's pilot. Have you ever served on a Stiletto-class Corvette? No, sir. We only have two light Corvettes in the sector. Huh, Captain? Sir, aren't you the Marcus Cromwell? Feel free to come over when you're through with your duties. I'll have someone show you around. Thank you, sir. I'll do that, sir. Uh, sir, may I invite you for a drink in the canteen? I'd be honored to meet the great Marcus Cromwell in person. I mean, if you have time, sir. That is, I don't mean to impose, sir. It's just... With pleasure. I started as a fighter pilot myself. Is averted. You can continue to the base. Be cool, people. Affirmative. Sir, 
A long sword class heavy corvette arrived at OSEC. The Rockets won the spring championship on Earth. That's all. I see. Can you look me up with Colonel Finn? I'm requesting an encoded channel. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Welcome, Captain Cromwell. The Sunflower's light corvettes have installed the espionage satellites you delivered a few days ago. The results are rather promising. The radius of the sensors has increased significantly. One of them has already provided us with some very useful information. We have managed to locate and identify the Ronin cargo ship of the Kisaki Syndicate. It is flying directly towards the Shukenja base. It won't stop at the Michelangelo. Captain, your task is to meet with the ship at the given coordinates, then to investigate her cargo. Reports show that the Ronin is not armed with military-grade weaponry, and no escort ships have been detected. Approaching the position indicated by the probe. The Ronin should appear on her sensors at any moment. Yes, sir. I'm sir, we detected an object. It may be the Ronin, but we have not identified it yet.
detected a second object. The Ronin is not alone. The object has been verified as the Ronin. Put it on screen. The unknown ship has broadcast its ID. It appears to be the Kisaki freighter Bihamosu, the Ronin sister ship. We're detecting a strange energy pattern. If it's a container tug, it's carrying something very unusual. It can't be. Sir, this is no cargo freighter. Something's happening. Its energy levels are rising exponentially. Our sensors are scrambled. Don't lose your head. Analyze it. It's a space drive, sir. It seems to be based on principles. I don't even... Captain, this is impossible. We cannot... Uh, I mean, technology like this simply cannot exist. Well, it looks like someone forgot to tell the Kisaki that. Continue to pursue the Ronin. We have to know more about this. Cargo carrier Ronin, this is the Stiletto military patrol. Stop immediately. Stiletto, this is the Ronin. Keep your distance. This is private business. The Sector Earth Treaty formally prescribes the transportation of contraband. According to paragraph 28, clause C, we have the right to inspect your cargo bay. Stop immediately. It is an offense to obstruct an inspection. You have no right to inspect us. Any attempt to do so will be considered an act of piracy. Are you prepared to risk an armed conflict between our two corporations, Stiletto? Halt immediately or we will open fire. Sir, the Ronin is not slowing down. Should we give them a wake-up call? Understood. Team. We will not permit you to board. We'll blow your commando ferry out of the sky. We'll see, Ronin. with a flak cannon. We cannot deploy commandos while it is active. Understood. Yeah. 
Target device disabled. How many weapons has this damn freighter got? Warning. Incoming enemy fighters. Warning. We are under attack. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Sir, they're targeting our black cannon. They are going to destroy it. Weapon disabled. Target device disabled. Enemy squadron destroyed. Picking up an SOS signal from the Kisaki base. I'm sure you realize this presents us with a unique opportunity. The Sector Earth Treaty permits rescue teams to enter private territories. Your task is to get a relief team into the base. Other firms have responded to the distress call, so be prepared for contact. It is imperative that our team be the first to reach the station. Use any means necessary to achieve your objective. I repeat, any means, Captain. We're giving you a free hand. Asteroids are blocking our sensors. We can't see the other ships. 
Use the active sensors. I don't want to fly straight into a trap. Copy that. Sir, we're picking up energy signals. Their source is very close. They seem to indicate that a battle is taking place.
operation.
We have arrived at the designated region, sir. We are unable to detect the base. Our long-range sensors are scrambled. The asteroids are jamming them. Calibrating trace pattern now. Trace pattern ready. I am uploading the coordinates.
Commando to Captain. We've found a survivor. I repeat, we have found a single survivor. He's trapped beneath debris. Proceeding to free him. Our commandos are returning. The commandos have returned, sir. The survivor is asking to talk to you. Captain, I am Yori Karumoto. Flight engineer of the Ashigaru asteroid tug. The station's defense system started shooting at us. I fear it is malfunctioning. Please be very careful. In Tell me more about this defense system. The station is protected by concealed weapon platforms. All I know about the inner ring is that it's designed to prevent incursions by enemy fighters. The platforms of the outer ring are mounted with missiles and military-grade mass drive guns. I can provide you with their coordinates. The platforms are automated, sir. When they are activated, they fire at everything that moves. They can be disabled with a specially ciphered transmitter, but only Syndicate battleships and the station itself are equipped with such devices. Sir, our analysis has found a weak point on the defensive ring. If we approach from the direction of that asteroid ring next to the station, we can use the asteroids as cover. Only one platform protects the area. Navigation-wise, it will be tough, but not impossible. identified a severely damaged Kisaki battleship. According to our recon data, it's the Corvette Bushi. It seems that she was also attacked by the platforms. Affirmative. Our relief team have left the deck. In position. Unknown object detected. In position. Unknown object detected. Commando to 
out and we're moving in. Commando to captain. The ship's a ruin. The hull's decompressed. The entire crew's dead. We secured the bridge and located the console that controls the platforms. Johnny's working on it as we speak. Captain, someone's been tampering with these platforms. The control program structure is way zoo. I've never seen anything like it before. Be cool. I can handle it. Sir, I think whoever messed with the system is still working it from the other side. I've nixed the platforms, but he's tracing back the codes already. This guy is hot, sir. He'll have them recalibrated within three minutes. That's the biggest window I can give you. Commandos dispatched. Ship. I want continuous reports on your progress. Sir, yes sir. Sir, the platforms have reactivated. No one can break the code so fast. We've boarded the ship, sir. We've met no resistance. Some of the equipment looks like it was made by humans. Sir, we've reached the bridge. Most of the consoles look unfamiliar. But a specialist report, we should be able to pilot the ship out of here. The letter to Commando. Leave with the ship if at all possible. We'll await your exit. Commando to Captain. The alien ship is ready to launch. Understood.
Affirmative. In position. Target device disabled. Understood. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Target device disabled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Target device disabled. Understood.
Target device disabled. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Target device disabled. Yes, sir. Target device disabled. Yes, sir. Target device disabled.
Report to Captain. We're taking off, sir. Attention both ships. Mission complete. Rendezvous at the designated meeting point. Captain Cromwell, we have detected Kisaki military ships on the system's border. As yet, we have been unable to identify them. But based on weight and energy patterns, it is likely to be the fleet detected near Mars three months ago. Based on our analysis of their trajectory, their target is the Sunflower. The fleet will reach the asteroid field in two days. I've had no choice but to declare red alert. Civilian ships have been evacuated, and the minefield has been activated to stop intruders. I'm putting our guard fleet, the light corvettes, Madeline and Lightning, under your command. Time is of the essence, Captain. Minefield now. Angel Wing, return to the base. Sir, an enemy hacker has hijacked the minefield. He's armed all of the mines and made them hostile to us. We're locked in. Captain Cromwell, stop those Kisaki ships. I'll support you with the station's weapon platforms. Francis DeLorean currently is on the base as my guest. I'd like to have Francis take command of the Madeline. I need someone who can keep their cool when the missiles start flying. If you insist. one shot before he takes control of that, too. So do it! Target the Ming! Aye, aye, sir. Warning. 
We are under attack. The system collapsed like one of Mama's current cakes. We've got SWAT, except the automatic anti-aircraft guns and the fighters. Captain Cromwell, our fate is in your hands. Sir, the Ming left the formation and is heading towards the Sunflower.
Lance with Captain Cromwell. Congratulations, Captain. Nice work. Start going off. According to the data we downloaded from the Shukenja base, the only research that went on there involved small-time basic projects. The main research base was established near Pluto, using spare components from the Shukenja Alpha Station. Our analysts speculate that alien technologies were researched on Shukenja Beta, hence the ship we captured. The orbits of Jupiter and Pluto are close to opposite at present. The distance between them is almost 6,000 million kilometers. I'm sure you're aware, with our current drive technology, the journey would take almost four years. However, if we use the alien ship, it would take only a few weeks. As soon as we have finished studying the engines and the basics of controlling her, we intend to send an expedition to the Shukenja Beta. Captain, I am relieving you from your command of the Stiletto and assigning you to command the Angel Wing on the Pluto expedition. Your task is the same as it was at the Shukenja Alpha. Enter the base and collect information. The crew of the Stiletto will be transferred to the new ship, along with some of our best specialists in the field. Professor Veltman will head your science team. He has been the lead scientist at the Motyan Institute for five years now. He is an expert in quantum physics, has a PhD in transplanetary philosophy, and is Earth's leading authority on parahuman logic, non-linear reasoning, and AI psychology.
Lucky Beta is within visual range, sir. We are also detecting an unidentified object close to it, and something else, too. A wormhole? Sir, this... this is unbelievable. No wormhole has been detected in our solar system since the Noah catastrophe. Please, sir, we have a duty to inspect it immediately. The regular sensors are unable to get a lock on it. Sir, I think there's something else you should see. It's an unidentified artificial object. No energy emissions, no signs of life. Perhaps the scanner will shed some light on it. The station seems abandoned. What shall we inspect first, sir? The station, the wormhole, or the alien object? it is where the aliens came from as well. My father perished, along with thousands of settlers. It was the biggest disaster of the space age. This time, the fissure in space is wider. If only we could have a look at the other side. Forget it. That is not our objective. Maybe next time. Affirmative. Yes. 
searching for. There is a structure beneath the surface of the asteroid. It is 10 million cubic meters. It is made from materials similar to our ship. This must be what the Kesaki discovered. That's why they established the station here. We have to find out what is down there and what became of the crew. undoubtedly of alien origin, but I have no idea what its purpose might be. It absorbs all kind of energy, and its mass cannot be determined. In one instant, it shifts from zero to infinite. Does it have any similarities with our ship? No, it is definitely different. There is no sign of component parts, no airlock, no navigational devices. We cannot even detect a weapon. It is made from unknown materials, and its structure is solid and homogeneous. Our commanders could take a closer look. I do not recommend it, sir. It is too dangerous. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Commandos dispatched. In position. We're alive, sir. We're moving in. Target. Immediately, Commanders, do you read me? Sir, our Commandos are dead. The unidentified object, it's moving. We can't survive many more shots like that. What happened? Report. Sir, the computer is activating unknown devices. Someone has broken into the system. Our ship is locked in an energy field. Sensor efficiency is decreasing. The object's energy level is increasing. I think it's going to fire. Tenshi, lead scientist of the station, fourth generation artificial intelligence. I activated the protective shield of the ship. Listen to me. Do not shoot back. Why should I trust the program? The other station's AI went out of control. I am not a program. I will explain later. For now, you will just have to trust me. Your only chance is the wormhole. It cannot follow you there. I can only keep it away from the ship's system for a limited amount of time. It has killed everyone aboard the station and will kill everyone here as well. Are our computers under attack? We have a multitude of anomalous readings, sir, but I am not sure how to categorize them. What should we do? I'm awaiting orders. Shield down. Understood. The 
There are some things no amount of academy training can prepare you for. Flying into an unexplored wormhole on the advice of an alien AI is definitely one of them. My instinct said we could trust Angel. And besides, what choice did we have? Angel claimed that she was the leading scientist at the Shokenja base. It was attacked and destroyed by a superior AI somehow connected with the strange machine we fled from. Puzzled by the few scraps of information we had, I wondered what we might encounter on the other side. What we found was beyond my wildest imagination. Marcus Cromwell, Captain's Log, 0109-2112. Our arrival in this new world proved peaceful until the alarms went off. Alien ships appeared in front of us, backed up by an apparently well-armed space station. Fearing we'd fallen into a trap, crewmen armed their consoles and prepared to open fire. Imagine our confusion when we noticed a sign on the side of the closest ship that read Marco Polo. Project Noah, remembered on Earth as one of the worst catastrophes to befall humankind, was in fact a success. The wormhole that the settlers used when they departed did indeed collapse, but the ship, Noah's Ark, survived. My father and his crew reached their destination and established a colony. Though they lost all contact with Earth, they found new allies, an immensely advanced, somewhat unusual race known as the Vardrags. Though I call them allies, in truth, the relationship is less balanced. Despite their technological prowess, the Vardrag seem to lack the stomach for war, while their enemies, on the other hand, positively relish it. The inherent aggression of our race segued conveniently with their plans. In exchange for technological assistance, the settlers of the Noah became mercenaries in the Vardrag's war against a third race, the Gorgs. Humankind hoped that the settlers would discover utopia, but all they've found are new wars, new enemies, and new ways of killing. and the Gorgs was never a close one, but war only erupted after the recent cataclysm. For reasons unknown, the wormhole system that linked their solar systems started to realign, throwing vast interplanetary empires into chaos. The tunnels could no longer be used to connect the different regions, leaving remote provinces isolated. The Gorgs held the Vardrags responsible, believing them to be the only ones capable of causing a disaster of such massive proportions. However, the human settlers explained to me that according to the Vardrags, the realignment of the wormholes is the work of the Mechanoids, some kind of rogue AIs. The Mechanoids possess terrifyingly advanced skills and abilities. Just talking about them makes the Vardrags nervous. By the sound of it, with good reason. They think that the collapse of some well-known stars are also caused by the mechanoids. All the evidence we've seen so far suggests that the object that attacked the Kisaki Beta Station was of mechanoid origin. Footage from the Vardrag's abortive attempt to make contact a few years ago seems to confirm our suspicions. This has prompted the settlers to ban the Angel Wing from returning through the wormhole until the area we left behind has been explored. Until the probes return with their data, the settlers have invited us to enjoy the hospitality of the central colony, Noah. Captain Cromwell, Central Command would like to get to know you better. I'm sure you're aware that your arrival was a huge surprise for us all. As the son of the great Richard Cromwell, 
not to mention an ex-school friend of our current commander, you can expect a warm welcome. One of our convoys is due to depart soon for Noah, our central planet. Why not come along? The convoy will be led by Commander Ironsight in the destroyer Chrome. Naturally, you and your ship have no obligations or objectives in connection with the squadron, so feel free to enjoy the ride. We can reactivate it at any time. They stopped at the same time? How? The locals seem as baffled as us, sir. Captain Cromwell, this is Commander Ironside. We've not discovered the cause of our impromptu rest break. Certain military technology exists that can stop ships using IP engines, but only the Vardrags have them. And I can't think why they'd bother fishing us out of deep space without an explanation. We have to wait for the cargo carriers to recharge their IP drives. It'll take about ten minutes. We should be careful out here. Unknown object detected. We're picking up some unidentified Unknown ships, sir. Ship identified. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Unknown object detected. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Aye, aye, sir.
Warning. Enemy ship identified. Sir, we are under attack. We are under Commander Ironside. Who are they? By the look of their fighters, they're raptors. They have a gene-manipulated, cybernetically enhanced and controlled killers of the Vardrax. You don't want to mess with them, sir. But I thought the Vardrax were our allies. So did I. I've heard rumors about rogue raptors turning to piracy, but they couldn't possibly be in our system. Maybe this isn't the best time to talk politics. We have to hold out until the mammoths can jump. Red alert! The unidentified ships are attacking. I repeat, the convoy is under attack. Commander Ironside, they're firing on us. Help! We're under attack. And this is the mammoths. We need help immediately. Please respond. We need help immediately. They just keep on shooting. A hull will give in soon.
squadrons are under attack.
Rear Admiral Arthur Norbank here, Captain. You'll have heard of me, I'm sure. As commander of the defensive fleet of the NOAA system, I am, of course, your superior. Don't feel too ashamed that you fled from the Raptors. It's hardly surprising that someone with your limited experience couldn't deal with them. The Raptor pirates managed to capture one of our cargo carriers. They appear to be heading toward a hitherto unknown wormhole. The same one they used for their incursion into our system. Based on projections extrapolated from their current vector, the wormhole is located at this planetoid. You've given them a significant head start, but the cargo carrier is slowing them down. Only our destroyers are capable of intercepting them before they enter the wormhole. They must be captured. We cannot let them turn our crew into their slaves. Your objective is simple. Escort the destroyers and carry out Praetorian Raptors to the target area. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't assign you to deploy the Praetorians, but unfortunately I have no choice. Only your ship is large and fast enough. The Rome will follow you. All you have to do is to contain them for a while. We'll take over from there when we arrive. Cromwell. The Raptor pirates have broken away from the cargo carrier. They are attempting to escape. The carrier is still heading towards the wormhole. We'll take care of the pirates. You disable the cargo carrier. Just blow up its engines. It shouldn't present a problem. I know how to disable a craft. Or did you think Captain was a nickname? I beg your pardon, sir. I did not mean to sound patronizing. Please wait for us next to the cargo carrier. We'll be there in half an hour. Good luck. Sir, we have the wormhole on visual. to have visuals. Assume crab formation. Copy that. Don't confuse your port with starboard this time, Steve. Target device disabled. Ah, yes, I kill you now, human worm bird. 
Two unidentified objects are approaching, sir. They must be our destroyers. Sir, they're raptors. Detected. Understood. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Warning. We are under attack. Alright, step aside, Captain, and watch how the big boys do battle. I'm afraid it's bad news, Marcus. Admiral Anderson's attempts to confirm the safety of the wormhole heading back towards Earth have been a failure. She deployed two probes. Both were lost. The scout ship she launched has not been heard from since. I fear there must be trouble on the other side. We have to find out what's going on at home. We can't sit here twiddling our thumbs, damn it. Rob, I'm heading back. Easy, Marcus. You're right. We have to act, but you're talking about gambling with the ship and the lives of your crew. There must be another solution. It's the only way, and you know that. If this is the work of the Mechanoids, the Angel Wing is the only ship that stands a chance. I'll report back with everything we discover. Well, I suppose you're right. It hurts to see you taking a risk like this, but given the circumstances, I can't refuse permission. Bring us news from home. May fortune guide your journey.
god. What the hell is that? It appears to be a physical body similar to the one we saw at the Kasaki Beta. It is a transportation medium for the aliens. So it's a spaceship. How many of those mechanoids can it carry? I do not know. Maybe tens of thousands. Maybe just one. Where are they now? I do not detect their presence up here. They are probably on Earth, within the computer systems and the internet. They did not hide their transport behind the moon without purpose. What is the status of our space stations and ships? They are almost certainly under mechanoid control. We have not detected a single radio transmission. I fear all the crews were killed just like those at the Shukenja bases. I suspect that Admiral Anderson's scouts also ran into the cleanup. On Earth, however, everything seems to be normal. We've been monitoring the news. There's not a single word about the events up here. It is as if they have not even realized that everyone is dead. I don't understand. If they've killed everyone up here, why are they hiding from the people of Earth? What are they doing down there? To obtain information about this, I will have to travel to Earth itself. There is an operative relay station here. I can reach the headquarters of my old company using one of its encoded channels. From there, I can travel anywhere on Earth. I only need ten minutes. Then, I will return. We have to find out what's going on. Go and take a look around, Angel. The relay station needs to remain intact so that I can return. Take good care of it, Captain. While you're waiting, do not approach the Black Moon and under no circumstances open fire on the mechanoids. Affirmative. Dr. Veltman, what are your thoughts on Angel? Her personality is very unusual. Do you think we can trust her? I have conducted many conversations with her. The influences of a traditional oriental upbringing which encourages a secondary, subservient role for women can be felt in her, but she has a superior and independent side to her character. She's prepared to seize the initiative on occasions and sometimes she displays a kind of, how should I put this, a sort of mild arrogance. She has, without a doubt, a highly developed psyche. Her reactions are much faster and far more sophisticated than one would expect from an AI. However, this is all speculation based upon some rather nebulous theories. You didn't answer my question, Dr. Veltman. Can we trust her? I fear we have no other choice. In our current predicament, she is the only hope we have. It is possible that she is concealing something. AIs are just as capable as humans of hiding their true motivations when it proves expedient. Your suspicions should be tempered by the fact that she has broken corporate loyalty by joining us, and, as yet, she has done nothing but assist us. However risky it may be, my view is that we must trust her until she gives us reason to feel otherwise. I see. Another question. Red alert! Earth ships are approaching. They're headed towards the relay station. And, sir, here is the whiskers. The Noah's Lost Scout? Hail them. They're not responding, sir. They're targeting us. The mechanoids have got them. We have no choice but to fight them. They must have discovered Angel, and they're trying to stop her coming back. We must stop them, Captain. We are under attack. What was that? What the hell is the Razor shooting at us with? Captain, the relay station has been destroyed. Angel cannot come back. The energy traces indicate a traditional laser cannon, but it has been charged far beyond standard safety thresholds. The mechanoids must have overridden the ship's filters. It won't cope with the strain for much longer. Sir, so, the docking lights of the Razor appear to be blinking in a pattern. Warning. Incoming missile. It's an SOS signal. Someone on board must still be alive. Sir, should we deploy our commandos? It might be a trap.
Warning, our squadrons are under attack. Target device disabled. Disabled. The automated defense systems are blocking our way! Clearing the path! Corpses everywhere! Killed by decompression! We found a survivor! Heading back! Our commandos are returning. Commandos have returned. Thank you, sir. I thought I was gonna die in there. I'm glad we found you. What happened? Don't know, sir. The mainframe was infected by some kind of battle virus or something. It released the airlocks. I was on spooge duty on one of the SEAL storage bays. That's how I survived. The only system I could access was a marker light. The virus locked out everything else. transmitter and fast. Sir, we're picking up a radio transmitter. 
transmission. The quality is very poor, but I think it's a distress signal. I'll pipe it through the speakers. I repeat, this is the North Star Research Base. Requesting immediate assistance. North Star Base, this is the cruiser Angel Wing. We can hear you. Thank God, please help us. We're stuck here on the station. Our mainframe has been infected. We haven't been able to reach anyone. It's like the whole world has gone deaf. Don't panic, North Star. We'll get you to safety. Before we do, we need a high-performance radio transmitter. Do you have one on the base? Of course we do, but it's connected to the computer network. We were using it to monitor signals from the Black Moon. If we switch it back on, they'll send another virus into our system. Don't worry about that. You'll be long gone by then. I'll transmit the radio frequency and the target. Aim the dish towards Earth. We're awaiting an important message. The radio has been calibrated. We can enable it via remote control. With the padding on the shuttle. We're extremely grateful. The last few days have been a waking nightmare. I thought we were all going to die. Captain, the time has come. Shall we open the channel? Do it. Radio enabled. We're not picking up any signals. Sir, a mechanoid is approaching. It's huge. It is 34 kilometers away and closing on us fast. Very fast! Come on, Angel. She should already be here. Ten minutes have passed. There's no sign of her. Has she been captured? Did she lie to us? Longer. We must retreat. Don't touch a thing. Don't even move. Let me handle them. The information you brought back is all very interesting, Captain, but we cannot afford to sit here idle while a decision is reached on how to proceed. During your absence, I tracked the Raptor Pirates through the wormhole to their lair. Left to their own devices, they could cause us untold problems. The Vardrags do not tolerate renegades. We have received an order to destroy the Raptor's headquarters. 
the majority of our fleet is busy in the Gorg Wars, and Central Command believes that we're gonna need every ship we can muster if we're to triumph against the pirates. It is with considerable reluctance that I am formally requesting your assistance. Your job will be to provide cover for the battleships Athens and Rome during the raid. The Raptors have hidden themselves in a wreckage field amongst the wrecks of Vardrag and Gorg ships. The battleships are gonna destroy the base. Your only task will be to keep the pirate ships and fighters busy with the help of our destroyers. Believe me, I wouldn't be asking you if there were anyone else available for this mission. Let's hope you learned enough from your last brush with the Raptors to stay in one piece. Watch and learn, Captain Cromwell. This is how the big boys do battle. Sir, we have received a message from the Vardrag Ambassador. He says we should be careful to avoid underestimating the Raptors. The Vardrag Ambassador? Forward the message to Rear Admiral Norbank immediately. <laughs> what do those cowards know about battle tactics? Don't listen to the Vardrags, Captain. They're afraid of their own shadows. The Raptors are a pack of oversized lizards. What's to underestimate? Cover us, Captain. Don't worry. These are easy targets. Warning. We are under attack.
Task complete. distributor of their base's second gondola. If we hit it, we may trigger a chain reaction. How the hell does the Vardrag ambassador know that? I don't know, sir. Should we use the data scanner? We are under attack.
Warning. Incoming enemy gunboats. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Target hides special information. We have lost a fighter. Enemy shield has collapsed. Task complete. Aye, aye, sir. Even in sleep, I cannot escape the specter of the black moon. It haunts my dreams, hanging dark and portentous in a blood-red sky. Nothing could have prepared us for Angel's report. Everything and everyone on Earth has fallen under the control of an alien entity. An artificial intelligence with unimaginable power. When the Vardrags learned of Earth's fate, they started panicking just as the members of Noah colony said they would. Their fear of the mechanoids knows no limits. The Vardrags have blockaded the wormhole leading to our solar system. The space fortress protecting it could stand up to an entire fleet. They have forbidden any sort of traffic. Not even the Angel Wing could sneak past. For now, Earth is on its own. Angel seems changed by her encounter with the mechanoids on Earth. At times, her determination is almost frightening. Her total immersion in every available piece of mechanoid-related data goes way beyond the dictum of know thy enemy. She avoids my questions regarding her experience on Earth. Though her help is invaluable, her anomalous behavior and burgeoning powers are making everyone anxious. In the midst of so much bleakness, some good news. Rear Admiral Arthur Norbank miraculously survived the destruction of the Rome. For his heroic actions, he has been awarded the Diamond Nova Medal. He will now have the opportunity to demonstrate his talent for leadership, heading a full-scale offensive beyond the Gorg Trenches. This latest offensive was prompted by a discovery we made after the destruction of the Raptor's base. There were not one, but two wormholes in the wreckage field. One that led to the Noah system, and a second that links the site to a Gorg border province. The evidence against the enemy seems irrefutable. Rear Admiral Norbank intends to secure a foothold in Gorg territory on the Vardrag's behalf. Central Command have demonstrated their faith in me by enrolling me as a fully-fledged officer of Noah Colony's Starhawk battle fleet. I will again have the honor of escorting Rear Admiral Norbank on his crusade. I have no doubt that he will provide me with another fine demonstration of how the big boys do battle. Well, Captain, fate has once again brought us together. I hope the harsh realities of war have not left you jaded. 
just be thankful that the horrors of the front line are left to tougher, more experienced men than yourself. The Gorgs won't know what hit them. I will lead my fleet into Gorg territory. Your orders are to accompany me. It will be a fierce battle involving large-scale deployments, so for your own safety, I must insist that you wait at a distance while I crush the Gorg fighters and destroy their border fortress. I will construct a command post to be used as a bridgehead in further assaults. But no man can be left without duties in these perilous, uncertain times. We will be leaving our support ship behind during our attack on the fortress. I fully expect the Gorgs to mount an assault upon it. Captain, your unit has been assigned to protect the support ship. I hope, Captain, that you appreciate the consequences of failure on your part. Should you prove unable to defend our support ship, we will be left with an exhausted fleet, stranded in hostile space. Our chances of survival would be close to nil. They tell me you are a talented officer. I sincerely hope that you do not disappoint us. I understand that two of our destroyers have already been placed under your command. The Brutus and the Spotter are excellent ships with excellent crews. Take good care of them, Captain. In addition, I'm placing you in temporary control of a heavy cruiser and two frigates. These ships will be removed from your command following the mission, so please try to keep them in one piece. Well, Captain, I have duties to attend to. Don't let us down.
our guests have arrived. Warning. Hey, Captain, think you can keep them amused while we recharge the fortress shield? And... Glory to the Raga clan! I, Roga Raga, the Vatrax Slayer, whose father is Raglan Raga, Scourge of the Weak, whose father is Galagra, drinker of blood! I say we crush these maggots! Warning, we are under attack. Smart to order all our ships inside the shield. We got a wolf in the hen house. Captain, there's a hostile ship under the shield. If it's destroying the generator, we're gonna be in deep trouble. Unable to complete the task. Affirmative. Its ship is being evacuated. Yes, sir. Target ship is being evacuated. Yes, sir. Formation. It can penetrate the fort shield. You know that's a bad thing, right? You gotta take them out before they punch a hole in our hull. Maybe I'll just take my time. <clears throat> I'll do what I can. destroyed.
Target device disabled. Target device disabled.
target device disabled. Task complete. Target device disabled. 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 Target device disabled.
Unable to complete task. Target ship is being evacuated. As you may already know, Captain, our efforts have been hampered by a lack of proper reconnaissance data. The Gorgs were able to mount a stronger defense than our experts anticipated. The incompetence of others has resulted in several ships suffering serious damage. I have been forced to fall back with them until they have been repaired and more powerful armaments installed. Once our preparations are complete, I'll blast that goddamn fortress with so much firepower, even its own mother won't recognize it. Until then, I have a task for you. Our deep reconnaissance squad is currently active in the sector. Though it pains me to say it, given their previous failings, without their assistance, we are flying blind. One of their ships ran into trouble during a mission. It was damaged and, because it cannot camouflage itself in open space, it chose to hide in the ring of Aatrox 9. Naturally, those damned gorgs are already hunting for it, using an IP jammer to prevent it from escaping. It'll take them a while to search the asteroid fields. Our ship can't hold out for much longer. Get it out of there, Captain!
We have reached the asteroid ring. Do we have the scout's position? Negative, sir. Just a moment. We are receiving data on the Gork forces. That means our scout is still active. Let's find them. But, Captain, they can't jump. How do we deal with that? I thought we could destroy the Gorg IP blocker. Or is that too obvious? Yes, sir. Of course. I apologize. No problem, Lieutenant. Once we're done here, get some rest. A lot of things have happened lately. Understood. Affirmative. under attack.
evacuated. Enemy ship. Warning, incoming missile. Warning, incoming missile. Warning, incoming missile.
being evacuated. Good to see that your little foray into enemy territory was as easy as I predicted. I have a new errand for you. If the information gathered by the scout is correct, we have no time to lose. It seems that our presence in this sector has got the Gorgs wild. And who can blame them? Like a cornered rat, they're baring their fangs and making a desperate bid to drive us back. Their goal is nothing less than total annihilation of our fleet. They will not prevail. The Gorgs will soon dispatch a significant number of ships through the Theta Gate. I would like nothing more than to blow them out of the sky one by one, but many of my ships are still not battle ready and time is running out. For now, I shall have to sacrifice the pleasure of open combat. The Theta Gate is protected by an enormously powerful minefield. The typically overcautious assessment of our scouts is that navigating through this obstacle is impossible. The mines are controlled by a base located in the middle of a nearby asteroid field. It is protected by a powerful shield plus several weapon batteries and patrols. Our scouts will provide you with further details on these. Let's talk turkey, Captain. Your mission is to approach the base, transmit your AI into its systems, and make her reprogram the minefield. When the Gorg fleet arrives, they'll be taken out by their own mines. I would not entrust you with this task if it were complicated, but be warned, one thing is key. Your ship must go undetected until you transmit your AI to the base. Once the alarm has been raised, you'll have no way of getting through their defenses. The only way that Angel can enter their systems is via your commando unit. So, discretion is of paramount importance. I realize that this mission may sound a little daunting to someone of your limited experience, so I've decided to provide you with some assistance. Our scouts report that with a little help, your Wondership will be able to mimic their camouflage technology. In this case, that help is Commander Sweetwater, who operates as a liaison officer between us and the scouts. She is the only person who is able to operate the camouflage system. Don't ask me how. Commander Sweetwater will reach you in a matter of minutes, so look sharp. There's no time for dawdling. Once she has made the necessary preparations, leave immediately for the theater gate. The hard work has been done for you, Captain. Make sure you are successful.
Commander Sweetwater. Commander Sweetwater, if you don't mind, sir. My apologies. Commander Sweetwater, please activate the camouflage device or our beautiful friendship is going to be a short one. As you wish, Captain. This bucket of bolts is merely imitating real camouflage technology. I can only hide it from Gorg sensors for a limited amount of time. What? Why didn't you mention this before? You didn't ask. Now let me concentrate. I have marked the farthest possible target that this bucket of bolts can reach during our limited camouflage time. Understood. Uploading a complete reconnaissance database for this sector. It should give your cute little cyber pets something to play with. How long have you had this information, Commander? Three minutes. And you've been sitting on it all this time? Didn't you think I'd need it? I did you. May I remind you that on board this ship, I'm the one calling the shots. It's up to me to decide what we need and when. I should have guessed we had a scout hiding in this sector. I realize that you're no expert on reconnaissance, Captain. But it helps the spy if no one knows she's there. Especially not gung-ho captains with more testosterone than sense. Sir, the reconnaissance data is extremely detailed. It should prove very useful during our mission. Thank you. And Lieutenant, remind me not to let this woman aboard the ship in the future. Asteroid number three contains radioactive ores that emit strong radiation. It is ideal for camouflage, but if we remain in its shadow for long, it could damage our equipment.
Affirmative. critical levels. We have left critical radiation. Aye, aye, sir.
Sir, Understood. we have reached the station. Maybe launch Understood. the commando ferry with Angel on board. Captain, can I suggest we get a move on? I can't maintain our camouflage for long. Commando? Angel, but... can't you control this device? Do you still not get it? I am that device. The ship's hardware only amplifies and expands my abilities. You? But how? You don't need to know that. Now do me a favor and deploy those commandos before the Gorgs blow our whole fleet to stardust. I'm in. It's very different from our terrestrial networks, but it shouldn't present a problem. Done. Or, how would you put it? Mission accomplished. All of the mines and platforms now consider the Gorgs as enemies and us as allies. I am heading back. The Gorg fleet is going to arrive soon. There are no more mines. The souls of our brothers scream for revenge. We will chew up the humans and spit out their skulls like pips. Shaglock shall have a mighty feast this day. All ships, destroy the feeble humans! Maintain our camouflage. I don't think we ought to mess with them. It's not going to happen, I'm afraid, Captain. Keeping this barge out of sight has worn me out. I need time to recuperate. Which means we'll be visible from now on. Sorry. Time to recuperate? Are you serious, Commander? Ah, oh, to hell with it. Let's just spread a cloth over one of these asteroids and invite the Gorgs to a picnic. You know, Captain, if you weren't so busy being right all the time, you might have noticed that I've been sweating my ass off back here, keeping us invisible. I've exceeded the estimated clock time by 30%. Understood. What? You mean you took a gamble or...? Gambling doesn't come into it. I know my mental capabilities and I trust them entirely. As for your mental capabilities... Sir! Ghost ships! They were here? Throughout the whole mission? Enemy... Think of it as insurance. Understood. You don't want to know what I think of it, Commander. I suppose you didn't consider them worthy of my attention. Perhaps it's you who isn't worthy of their attention, Captain. Friendly units 
identified. Enemy squadron destroyed. Unknown object detected. being evacuated. Captain Cromwell, welcome back. Glad to see that my plan for dealing with the Gorg, um, diversion at Theta Gate proved so devastatingly effective. I'm pleased to report that my battleships are ready to fight. The Gorg's number is finally up. We're gonna blast their Epsilon station to atoms. I've equipped the battleships with energy torpedoes. They should deal with the troublesome fort shield that hampered our first assault on the base. Without a shield, the station doesn't stand a snowball's chance in hell. This will be gritty. Frontline stuff, so I don't expect you to get involved, Captain. Just stay back, provide us with cover, and enjoy the fireworks. Don't worry if it all happens too fast for you. I'll be reviewing my winning tactics in a series of lectures after the victory celebration.
Where the hell is everyone else? They discovered us. The station has activated an IP blocker. Our other ships cannot exit subspace. Three Gorg battleships have turned towards us, sir. They look rather menacing. I can camouflage the ship if you wish, Captain, and we can retreat. They gave Norbank a good spanking. Please camouflage the ship, Commander. I have no intention of running. Rear Admiral Norbank was defeated because of the station's fortress shield. For the moment, the shield is down. An active fort shield significantly decreases the effective radius of the blocking signal. That's why they have temporarily deactivated it. Great. It should stay down for a while, then. We'll sneak in and destroy the blocking device. Commander Sweetwater, do you think they're up to it? Very droll, Captain. My performance in the asteroid field gave you ample proof of my abilities. It was quite a party trick. I've got to hand it to you. Think you can manage without a beauty sleep in the lion's den this time? Ha! Crawl out of your burrows, maggots! You are all alone! Already the souls of our slain brethren circle your ship! Be ready for the impending slaughter! We've remained invisible for far longer than before. Did you change your diet? Actually, Captain, I... I have studied the rudiments of her technique and improved upon them by boosting the effectiveness of our wave amplifiers and light absorbers. In a couple of hours, the ship will be able to emulate ghost technology perfectly. If Commander Sweetwater allows me to study her implants, I can also copy those. It appears the majority are organic in origin. Captain, tell your cyber pet that my brain is off limits. I'm not having her use it as a science lab. I am not a cyber pet. I am an AI with a fully integrated personality. Sounds about right. If AI stands for anal retentive ignoramus, that is. That's enough. Angel is an essential member of our crew, Commander Sweetwater. She's just as entitled to your respect as everyone else. I won't stand for any more bickering. The duration and effectiveness of our camouflage has increased, and for now, that's all that counts. If you trust this bucket of bolts to keep us hidden, that's your business. Just don't whine that I didn't think it worthy of your attention when our cover's blown and we've got 50 Gorg missiles bearing down on us. We are under attack.
by disabled. Target device disabled. Enemy ship disabled. is being evacuated.
ally disabled.
Target device disabled. Enemy ship disabled. Target device disabled. Squadrons are under attack. Enemy squadron destroyed. Warning, our squadrons are under attack. Enemy squadron destroyed. Affirmative. In position. In position.
Warning. Incoming enemy bombers in position. In position. Affirmative. Warning, our squadrons are under attack. Warning, we are under attack. We have lost a fighter. Enemy squadron destroyed. In position.
device disabled.
being evacuated. Warning, we are under attack.
disabled. Target device disabled. Thank you. 
The Black Moon is no longer the focus of my dreams. It has become a backdrop for cannon fire, exploding ships and stations. The visions grow more intense as I travel farther away from home. Home. These days the word has a hollow ring to it. Am I right to let events sweep me along like this? But I cannot indulge in such thoughts. At this stage, even a small lapse in attention could cost millions of lives. Billions. This is no time to lose my resolve. We drove the Gorgs from the Aatrox system and seized control. We have plans to erect another fortress station. If ceasefire negotiations prove fruitful, we may usher in a more lasting peace with the reigning clan. Unfortunately, this will not guarantee complete stability. The Vardrags have warned us that the Gorgs are far from unified when it comes to political matters. Conflicts between clans are common, and the ruling clan's authority is not absolute. Clans that declare themselves renegades are free to attack ships that stray into their systems, ceasefire or no ceasefire. Inevitably, this schism means that many more lives must be risked and lost. Rear Admiral Norbank has promoted me to Commodore and has placed the heavy cruiser Avalanche under my command. This allows him to send me on highly perilous missions in the most fiercely contested sectors. I should have guessed there would be a catch. Working with Commander Sweetwater and the Ghosts, we operate as a quick response unit. Our duty is to support reconnaissance missions, protecting the Ghosts, and reacting to incidents on the bloody and mutinous frontier. The importance of our role is matched only by the phenomenal risks involved. I can only hope that Angel is correct, and that somehow our actions will prove to be steps on the path to our ultimate goal, the liberation of Earth. As for the ghosts, they're fascinating company, really. I feel a sort of adolescent pride that the ghosts have chosen me as their partner, even if this was mainly down to luck. Their liaison officer, Commander Sweetwater, is almost as difficult to handle as the ghost scouts themselves. At least I don't end up sparring with the latter on a daily basis. Given the extent of her abilities, I feel Sweetwater's arrogance is forgivable. Perhaps we cannot really consider her human anymore. She spent a long time in Mist, the ghost's system, and they have altered her, both anatomically and mentally. She has capabilities the average human can only dream about. I must confess that I envy her at times. Like Angel, she is both my closest ally and a distant enigma. Vacation is over, Commodore. The ghosts have brought me some interesting news. Even Central Command haven't heard about this yet. Our scouts have encountered an inactive mechanoid within Ragra territory. It's floating among the asteroids as if dead. We have never seen anything like this before. Your AI, I beg your pardon, I mean Miss Angel, seems very excited. She believes we should take a closer look at this anomaly. And I agree. 
we ought to find out what happened to it and how it ended up out of action. I'm sure you're aware how valuable this discovery may turn out to be. I've anticipated a positive response, Commodore. We're already prepared for a departure.
Russia, the recon data was accurate. There is a mechanoid at the coordinates given. What did you expect? A line of go-go dancers? The scout's talent for retrieving sensitive information without being detected is unrivaled. We have nothing but the greatest respect for them. The only unexpected thing here is that I was the first to be told about such an important discovery. You weren't the first, Commander. I was. Of course. But I understand that Rear Admiral Norbank has yet to hear of this. That's my understanding, too. Well, whoever knows about it, I owe you my thanks, Commander. You don't owe me a thing, Commodore. If you happen to benefit from something I say, that's just a coincidence. If you're so desperate to show your gratitude, you can start by replacing the pastel pink sheets in my cabin. You're right. I'm sure they clash with your eyeshadow. Calling all ships. Do not open fire on the mechanoid under any circumstances. I repeat, under no circumstances should you fire at the mechanoid. If it decides to wake up, we're all dead. Copy that, sir. Copy that, Commodore. We are not opening fire. Its energy level is so low that a few shots probably won't recharge into a critical level, but that's not a theory I want to test. The use of the data scanner should be well within acceptable parameters. If we leave it behind, I calculate it will take approximately 16 months to gather sufficient sunlight to reactivate itself. Using the scanner will reduce its recharge time to five and a half months. How did it get to this state? I have insufficient data to form a cogent hypothesis. If I get the opportunity to take a closer look, maybe I will be able to tell you more. Scientific analysis complete. What does the data tell us? The mechanoid body is basically nanomolecular. It consists of tiny machines. These machines can organize themselves into almost any shape imaginable. With its energy level so low, the main algorithms of the mechanoid software are inactive. In its current state, I believe I could even take control of it. Then you could even destroy it? Destroy it? Yes, I could do that. Of course, that would prevent my studying it further. It's a mechanoid, Angel, not a damn butterfly. It's too big to take with us, and besides, energy from the ship's system might reanimate it. I'm going over. This is unbelievable. They've created the perfect hardware. Everything is so... comfortable. Angel, return immediately. The mechanoid's energy level is increasing. Don't panic. The energy increase is only me. I've got everything under control. Give me a chance to dig deeper. I need more time. Time's not on our side. You should know better than to gamble like this. 
The only thing that we know about this technology is that it's extremely destructive. If you can destroy it, do so. Then come back immediately. Angel? Angel, do you hear me? Angel, answer me! Asagami, Tsubrube Torarete, Moranichi. I do not understand. Please repeat, is there a problem? Commodore, Angel is talking in Japanese. Japanese? Why? Did anyone understand what she just said? Well, technically, her native language is Japanese. My knowledge of the language is rudimentary, but it sounds to me like poetry. Poetry? Angel, return immediately. That's an order. Angel, are you still there? The air shimmers. White flight of an unknown insect. Commodore, I think we may be in trouble. I'm pleased to see all those years of academic study weren't wasted, Mr. Veltman. Something must have tipped the balance of her mind. She's reciting poems, haikus. Her artistic subroutines have taken over. It may be a defense strategy to protect her mind against the aggressive mechanoid algorithms. Just what we need, a poetry recital. Can we do anything to help her? I'm afraid we can do nothing but wait. Angel, listen to me. You have to come back immediately. Are you all right? Sleep double snowscape. Warm imprint in bed sheets split by a single pane. Bed sheets? Angel, what are you talking about? What happened to you? Are you there? Barns burnt down. Now I can see the moon. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Sir, Gork ships have arrived. You craven maggot! Did you really believe that real warriors would be fooled by your greased handshakes and supplicatory leaders? Did you think we wouldn't see through the painted mask of hypocrisy? Fools! Shadlock recognizes no treaty! Save the eternal covenant of death in glorious battle! Sir, we estimate they're at least twice as strong as us. All units, raise your shields. Angel, your karaoke slot's over. Return to the ship. We cannot stay here and fight. Look thus upon this crumbling world. A star at dawn, a petal in the breeze. A bubble trembling on a dreamer's lid. A guttering flame, a shadow and a sneeze. Angel, wake up! The gorgs will either blow us to pieces, or the fight will recharge the mechanoid. We're all going to die here with you. You've got to come back! Autumn wind. Gods. Buddha. Lies, lies, lies. Sir, we'll have to commit ourselves soon. Awaiting your orders. Commodore, we have to go. We don't stand a chance. Warning. We can't leave Angel behind. Warning. And we can't allow the gorgs to get the mechanoid. Even if it means our lives? The Professor is right. We need the Mechanoid at all costs. Understand, Angel? Everything's all right, Commodore. I experienced some problems with my personalities, but they've been rectified. My analysis is still incomplete, but I can use some of the Mechanoid systems against the Gorgs. I'll be able to control their ships for a short period of time. Do not forget, Commodore, our possessing of this Mechanoid is the key to rescuing Earth. Your personalities? What kind of personalities are you talking about? Incoming. There'll be time for that later, Doctor. Attention all ships, we're engaging in combat. I have overloaded the weapon generator of the darkness. Slash. Commodore, 
We have a problem. The mechanoid is recharging fast because of all the dispersed energy. It is going to escape from under my control. What? How much time do we have left? Less than 10 minutes. I'll be able to escape in time, but don't move too far away. device is able.
have activated the IP drive of the Mauler Hive. Disabled. Understood.
well, Commodore. Either we're on the biggest lucky streak of all time, or fate itself has intervened to help us uncover the secret of weakening the mechanoids. The ghosts have found another inactive mechanoid, this time within the domain of the Ragras. It seems that for some reason, this territory is unfavorable for mechanoids. We missed out on the first one. It's time to go big game hunting.
Are these enemy fighters? Have they... have they disabled a mechanoid? That is the implication. This is the same specimen that defeated the Gorg fleet. I recognize it. But our sensors told us it left with an incredibly high energy level. Not anymore. Technically, it is dead. What the hell could kill a mechanoid? Lieutenant, hail those fighters. There is no answer, sir. That's hardly surprising. These aren't fighters. About they are living creatures. Yes, sir. Would you be so kind as to tell us everything you know about these creatures? As yet, I do not have any significant information. I suppose that the ghosts know about them, right? Please, Commander. There is no time for arguments. We have to acquire the mechanoid's body. It is completely inactive. I will be able to study it in safety. If I can ascertain the exact way it operates, we will finally have a weapon to use against them. At the moment, I'm more interested in the weapons these fighters are armed with. I'm afraid we'll get acquainted sooner than we'd like. Look. Sir, the fighters are approaching. In position. in the vicinity, have them seek out the mothership, or whatever it is that these creatures came from. They don't look like they could survive alone in deep space. Sorry, Commodore. The ghosts can't help you this time. I guess it doesn't fit into their grand plan. Dr. Veltman, please. A second wave of attackers, Commodore. There's lots of them. In position. from here, but it vanished almost immediately. It appears to have used an unknown spaceship method. Their mothership has almost certainly left. Taking the secret of defeating the mechanoids with it. Damn it. I don't mean to talk out of turn, sir, but we could not have endured their fighters for much longer. Our ships are in a less than satisfactory condition. Damage report. This is the Sparta reporting. Everything's all right, Commodore. We made it through in one piece. Is the Brutus reporting? We did not suffer any serious damage. Avalanche ready for action. We can't hang around with these damaged ships. We're returning to the Aatrox system. Angel, let's see that mechanoid. I hope this carcass was worth fighting for. Possessing it is worth any price. Possessing it? You want to bring it along? Angel, I hate to tell you this, but I don't think it's going to fit in your suitcase. Commodore, in the world of the mechanoids, the restrictions of schematic thinking no longer apply. Universal technology assimilation process started. No, stop it at once. Assimilation complete.
Captain, um, Commodore, this is Vice Admiral Arthur Norbank. We'll address your recent absences and intermittent reports later. Right now, we've got something far more important on our plate. A relatively powerful rebel Gorg clan, the... Ragad or Bramag, or... Well, the name's not important. The clan has invited us to come and sign a peace treaty. I don't like the smell of this one bit. I want to arrive at the peace talks with some serious firepower. I'm not going to be duped like some rookie pacifist. Someone's got to stay and babysit our fortress, so I'm ordering your unit back there immediately. Return to the Avalon station without any delay. You'll have nothing to do. Perhaps you can finally get some rest. If any Gorg stragglers stray into our space, just remind them about the ceasefire. Hurry up! The second you arrive at the station, we move out. Attention all units! Attention all units! This is Robert Wong, commander of the Avalon. Red alert! Gorg ships have entered the sector through the Theta Gate. Commodore Cromwell, prepare to meet them.
foolish humans come. The time for revenge is nigh. The glorious Warnock Clan will rip you shrieking from the galaxy. Feel honored that you shall perish at the hand of such mighty warriors. Sir, the enemy has arrived. They outnumber us by a ratio of at least three to one. Hmm. Some Gorg stragglers, eh? Perhaps we should remind them about the ceasefire. Vice Admiral Norbank was so desperate not to fall into a trap that he took all his battleships with him. Looks like we're on our own. Perhaps we can defend the station until our fleet returns. Norbank should realize sooner or later that he's been stood up. Why don't we retreat through the wormhole? We can return later with more ships. It makes no sense playing the hero. The station's fort shield will provide us with adequate cover. Just so long as we don't allow the Gorgs to use their siege laser, we have a chance. In any case, Commander, I don't run from battles. I thought you'd have learned that about me by now. Honestly, a Commodore. Stop pining for the days when all a leader needed was a square jaw and stubble. It's about time that you realized how tactically valuable we both are. Neither of us can risk our lives on a whim. And don't even get me started on the ship. Commodore, our chances of survival are very low, and the risk involved is disproportionate to the significance of the battle. But I realize that pointing out the wisdom of Commander Sweetwater's words will do nothing to change your mind, so instead, I'm going to call your attention to another option. I have nearly completed my analysis of the mechanoid body. I have discovered how it transforms energy for movement and for firing. To the point, please, Angel. Using the energy structure of the ship, I am now able to create a mechanoid energy matrix. There are, however, two major disadvantages to take into account. Firstly, the Angel Wing will be left almost completely defenseless. Secondly, it will only have a limited amount of energy, and without a solid body, it can't recharge itself. Do you mean that you're able to create a mechanoid? Not quite. I shall briefly become a mechanoid, but in reality I shall have no physical form. Hmm. That makes about as much sense as those haikus you've started spouting. Those have the underlying meaning, Rear Admiral. Just like my previous words. I've done a little research about these strange poems since then. There are some really wise ones among them. So what is going to be your decision? It's like how it is. I realize it myself. On each year's last day. Sir, the Gorgs are within firing range. We're awaiting your orders. In position. Engage the fleet. Let's see what Angel can do. Just what we need. Enemy shield has collapsed. Warning. Squadron out of ammunition. Warning. We are under attack. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Yes, sir. In position. Understood. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Shield has collapsed in position. Yes, sir. Warning. Quadrant out of ammunition. Aye, aye, sir. Target ship is being evacuated. Understood. In position. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Enemy squadron destroyed. Enemy shield has collapsed. 
Warning. Shield down. Affirmative. Target ship is being evacuated. Destroyed. Warning. Weapon disabled. Target device 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 disabled. Down. 
Affirmative. Understood. Warning. Engine disabled. Warning. Shield down. Warning. Shield down. Target device disabled. Enemy ship disabled. Target device disabled. Warning. Shield down. Warning. Shield down. Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Warning. Shield down. Warning. Shield down. Understood. Enemy shields have collapsed. Target device disabled. Warning. Shield down. Warning. Shield down. Target device disabled. Enemy ship disabled. Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Warning. Shield down. Enemy shields have collapsed. Warning. Shield down. Target device disabled. Disabled. Target device disabled.
Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Enemy ship disabled. Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Enemy shield has collapsed. Target device disabled. 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 Enemy shield has collapsed. Target device disabled. Understood. Target ship is being evacuated.
Target device disabled. Aye, aye, sir. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Target device disabled. is being evacuated. Target ship is 
being evacuated. Welcome, Commodore. Allow me express my sincere gratitude for your heroic actions. In the short time that you have spent with us, you have proved your talent and daring beyond any possible doubt. As a mark of respect, I would like to entrust you with a most important and highly confidential diplomatic mission. As you already know, though the reigning Gorg clan signed a ceasefire agreement with our forces, the treaty did not prove as effective as we had hoped. The reigning clan refused to accept the responsibility for the skirmishes, citing the hostile activity of renegade battle clans. Between you and me, I suspect that these claims may be more than a little disingenuous. As internal conflict puts more and more pressure on him, the Gorg Emperor cannot afford the threat of an external enemy, an uncertain ceasefire simply will not do. He wants peace. Peace talks will be unpopular with the rebel clans, so they are going to take place under wraps. Commodore, it will be your responsibility to meet with the Imperial Envoy and ensure that the treaty gets signed. Your involvement is not just our decision. The Gorg leaders specifically requested that you be present. It seems you have earned their trust and respect. The location for the meeting is the Herlas system. I suspect it is unfamiliar to you. It is unfamiliar to most people. That is rather the point. It is a secluded place with one known wormhole. It has no inhabited planets. You will not have any escorts this time. The Gorgs will also arrive with a single ship. As I have said, discretion is paramount. For once, firepower won't get center stage. Be very careful, and don't forget, in this mission, you are an ambassador for the entire human race.
Looks like they really did come alone. I wonder what the catch is this time. I think the Gorgs are sincere in their calls for peace. We've had reports of severe internal battles breaking out across their homelands. They haven't got the resources for war on two fronts. Come on, Captain. Optimism is nice in the case of environment protectors, and it is even a delectable thing in the case of humanist leagues. But this is the rough reality. Pessimism is the foundation of survival. Commander Sweetwater, please disable our camouflage. Even pessimists can't stay hidden forever. Greetings to clan leader Zatuk, whose father is Movar, the Comet Spitter, whose father is Ragir, the Lash of a Thousand Barbs. I am honored by your presence. Greetings to Marcus from the Cromwell clan, whose father is Richard the Settler. We come in peace. We dogs do not like wasting words on false pleasantries. We both know why we are here. We want to put an end to this war. Do you find anything objectionable in my words? Your words are clear and wise, Chief Zatuk. We have only to agree on the conditions. Very well. Our conditions are as follows. You may keep the system of the Rogue Arkham. Your battleships may no longer use the Theta Gate. In addition... Understood. Looks like you owe me a drink, Commodore. Gorg ships are closing on us. Chief Zatuk. What is the meaning of this? Is your word worth so little? Real cadaverous human! How dare you question my honor! The word of a Zordon is a bond! If I desired, I could crush you in an instant! I have no need for cowardly tricks! Commander Sweetwater, can you determine which clan these ships belong to? Their markings indicate that they are affiliated with the Ragra clan. Chief Zatuk, eight of the Ragra clan's vessels are approaching. If you had no foreknowledge of this, then I apologize for my previous words. I have been betrayed! Someone must have told them the location of this meeting. Well, if it's a battle they desire, they shall have it! War cry! Red alert! Marcus, this is our battle. You stay out of this. As you wish. Commodore, the war cry cannot win alone. And what if we help out a little? If we take maximum advantage of our camouflage, we should be relatively safe. But I still rate the war cry's chances of survival at less than 5%. Identify. Peace with Zatok's no good to us if he's floating around the sector in pieces. Uh, Commodore, there is one other thing. Four ghost ships escorted us here in secret. They say they are more than happy to help us put this war to bed. They're prepared to recognize your seniority and follow any orders you have. Commodore, please look after them. This is a glorious day for the Ragra clan. See how the all-powerful Zatuk cowers without his hordes of underlings to protect him. Glorious day! What do the Rackers know of glory? You are worthless mongrel cowards! You are no more than insects, creeping from the rankest corners of space to nip at the flesh of great predators! Scuttle back to your tent before I flatten you beneath my thumb! This is Commodore Marcus Cromwell. I'm the leader of the human delegation for peace. I call on the Ragra clan to depart immediately. If you do not, we will consider your intrusion an act of aggression. What do we have here? The Magatou blew up the doom. It's Captain Rag, leveler of mountains. What's my brother? Hear how his soul bellows for vengeance from the pits of Shaglock's belly. Target device disabled. Understood. 
Enemy squadron destroyed. Target device disabled. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Target device disabled. Enemy squadron destroyed. Yes, sir. Enemy shield has collapsed. Out of ammunition. Aye, aye, sir. Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Enemy ship disabled. Has collapsed. Yes, sir. Target device disabled. Enemy 
shield has collapsed. Target ship is being evacuated. Affirmative. Enemy shields have collapsed. Warning. Quadrant out of ammunition. Enemy ship disabled. Affirmative. Target device disabled. Courage and his allies with great wisdom. Commodore, the ghosts are in serious trouble. They tracked down the Locust Queen, the Locust Mother ship. They engaged it in battle, but the situation doesn't look good. If we don't help them, they'll be wiped out. We must leave immediately. Engaged it in battle? Where? How? I thought the ghosts stayed out of fights. That's correct. But the Locust Queen could spell the end of their entire race. Commodore, please. Time's running out. What do you know about this Locust Queen? What's going on? Last time it was mentioned, you said you had no significant information on it. Now I find the ghosts have launched an attack without telling anyone, and I'm supposed to bail them out? Trust is a two-way street, Commander. How can we help when you're so secretive? There's a time and a place for all this, Commodore. While you're up there on your high horse, the ghosts are getting slaughtered. Perhaps they should have waited for our permission rather than going it alone. If they destroy the Locust Queen, we may never learn the secret of defeating the Mechanoids. The Ghosts don't need your permission to defend themselves. If we don't stop the Locusts, they'll consume all life forms, humans included. We can't let it escape. Don't lose your cool, Commander. I have no intention of leaving the Ghosts to fend for themselves. We need to find out how they disabled the Mechanoids and stop them from sucking the whole galaxy dry. Admiral Anderson placed the battleship Guardian under my command at the beginning of the week. Commander Hillary Carson can't wait to prove her talent. Here's her chance.
all dead. We're too late. What an abomination! Let's erase it from the galaxy! Commodore Cromwell, my ship is equipped with a siege laser. We can use it against her if you wish. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Warning. We are under attack. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Warning. Engine disabled. Enemy squadron destroyed. Warning, our squadrons are under attack. Warning, fighter squadron destroyed. All squadrons annihilated. Enemy squadron destroyed. Lost a fighter.
Warning. Fighter squadron destroyed enemy convoy. I must remind you that obtaining the Queen's weapon is of paramount importance. If we fail to do so, we may miss out on our last chance to save Earth.
I got it. I have the required information. Scientific. Using the data we gathered, I think I can design a replica of the Queen's Energy Skeeter weapon. It's by no means a final solution, but we will no longer be defenseless against the mechanoids. At last, there'll be no more running from fights. Spread the word. The Queen is dead. They ordered that I return home. I realize that the colony is not my real home, but a weary spacefarer like myself needs all the solace he can get. Home sounds so much more comforting than Central Command, even if the name is a lie. Noah's scientists towed the body of the recently defeated Locust Queen to their orbital laboratories and pulled it to pieces. Apparently, their efforts are already bearing fruit. In addition to discovering the secret of the Energy Skeeter weapon, they claim to have made several important breakthroughs as a result of their findings. The Angel Wing has returned so that the prototype anti-mechanoid weapon can be mounted on the ship. As for our future, returning to Earth no longer seems like a suicide mission. However, the odds are still heavily stacked against us. Angel has reassured us that our chances of defeating the entity grow larger by the day. Naturally, she is central to our success. Her personality has undergone rapid changes since she occupied and ultimately merged with the weakened mechanoid body. It frightens me to say it, but it is almost as if she is gradually becoming a mechanoid herself. But this is no time for pre-fight jitters. Even if I knew for certain that she was untrustworthy, there would be little I could do to oppose her. The Vardrags don't see it that way. We're starting to run into problems. The Angel Wing has undergone many changes. Despite our best efforts to keep the Vardrags in the dark, sooner or later, they were bound to find out. Our new power terrifies them. They are utterly controlled by their primal fear of the Mechanoids. I'm afraid that the time draws near where they will demand the destruction of Angel and the Angel Wing. We could never agree to this. Tensions are already fraught. Such an impasse could only lead to open conflict. In order to prevent the situation deteriorating, my childhood friend, Rob Scheinman, has traveled to the main Vardrex system, hoping that a personal visit may achieve better results. On my part, I have initiated negotiations with the Vardrag garrison, defending the Alpha Gate, requesting permission to pass through. As I expected, they avoided the issue on several occasions, but recently they have stopped responding to our communications altogether. Unable to account for this behavior, we have dispatched one of our frigates to the Alpha Gate to find out what is going on. Dear Admiral Cromwell, the Vardrag station, the gatekeeper, is not answering our hails, and we have lost contact with our scout ship. Put your fleet on alert and find out what's going on.
frigate on visual. It's been destroyed. Lieutenant, hail the Vardrax. I don't expect we'll get much of an answer. Look, Rear Admiral. A mechanoid? What the hell is it doing here? Does it matter? Let's get the hell out of here before it pounces on us. We've already got one. We're not planning on opening a menagerie. We're not going anywhere. We have to find out what's happened here. Think of it as an opportunity to test our energy skeeter weapon. I knew it. Typical. Well, the mechanoids aren't in their bodies at the moment, correct? They are inside the ships. Understood. They took control of the Vardrag ships. Why aren't they attacking us? Until we are identified by a mechanoid as an enemy, they will not waste unnecessary energy chasing us down. What are they still doing here? They must have taken these ships for a reason. Perhaps they could not completely take over the guidance systems. There might be something in that. The Vardrags are tightly bound to their machines. The link is almost... organic. Theories are no good to me. We need rock-solid information. I want to know if the mechanoids are heading for Noah Colony. shield is hindering my scan. I think there may be survivors on the ship. Vardrags, Raptors, or something else, I don't know. I do not recommend dispatching our commandos in any case. They won't make it through the shield. Task complete.
under attack. Yes, sir. Sir, one of the mechanoids has become active. Excellent. Time for us to see how effective our energy Skeeter weapons are. Evacuated. Last one of the bastards. Rear Admiral, do you really think that's a good idea? Yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Task complete. Understood. Task complete. Complete. Yes, sir. 
Task complete. Understood. Task complete. In position. Yes, sir.
weapon disabled. Unable to complete task. Task complete. Yes, sir. Affirmative.
stable. Affirmative. trying to seize control of the Vardrak computer systems. The cutting-edge technology and countless security algorithms don't seem to be posing them any difficulties. However, a central organic mind integrates and manages the various systems. It seems that the mechanoids were unprepared for something of this nature. That's why the ships are immobile, and I expect that they have yet to perfect their control over the weapon systems.
under attack. Command immediately. 
Dear Admiral Cromwell, your discovery, apart from causing serious unrest within the chain of command of the Noah colony, has caused real hysteria among the Vardrags. We have never known our patrons to be so nervous. They seem really anxious. They have requested immediate help. Or to be more precise, they have demanded that we dispatch ships to the Star Portal. Your unit has the most experience in fighting the Mechanoids. Therefore, I'm assigning you to protect the Star Portal. Do whatever it takes to stop the Mechanoids getting through.
identified, sir. They are heading towards the star portal. Lieutenant, don't forget that they are no longer our allies. You can put your moral anxiety aside. I know, sir. It's not that. I was just thinking about the mess those cataclysm missiles made of the Rome. They didn't use them at the Alpha Gate. Maybe they won't use them this time either. The Vardrags have provided us with the necessary information to counter the rockets if we have to. Hopefully the Mechanoids haven't had time to perfect their grasp of Vardrag technology. If they have, we'll be looking for weak spots in vain. Thanks for the morale boost, Angel. That's just what's needed. Pessimism is the foundation of survival. Are not these your words, Commander? You know, an artificial intelligence like myself likes to learn new words of wisdom. Rear Admiral Cromwell, we shall do our utmost to support you. That's, uh, that's just what I wanted to hear. Thank you, Leroz. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Marcus, aye, aye, the sir. Star Blazer has deployed Praetorians, and so has the Serenity. Incoming. There really are survivors. The Mechanoids have probably taken control of the Raptors through their cybernetic implants. I do not think we should consider these poor souls survivors. Nevertheless, there may be someone left on board. Cap, our data suggests that there are five squadrons of Raptors on board these ships. As yet, only one squadron has taken off. Disabled. I've had to face Raptors before, sir. I've seen them inflict heavy casualties, even when outnumbered ten to one. They're terrifyingly efficient killers. But rest assured, we'll follow your orders, even if it means death. If necessary, I can protect your commandos from mechanoid implants, but they'll be on their own against raptors and other physical attacks. Disabled. Thank you, sir. But with all due respect, we are prepared for that. Enemy squadron destroyed. Sir, the Serenity has launched a Cataclysm missile. Enemy squadron destroyed. Understood. In position. Commandos dispatched. We are inside. Atmospheric conditions are optimized for bar tracks. Look out, Raptors! Wait, they're not moving. Sir, we have found at least two dozen raptors, but it seems that the mechanoids have melted their brains. We are moving forward. The defensive systems are slowing us down. This barge is huge. We should be somewhere around the middle of the ship. Its structure is very disorienting. We're approaching the source of the sound. I can feel it through my pressurized suit. Damn, it's horrible. It's like getting skinned alive. Open it up. My god. So we're in the control room. We found a bar track which... I don't believe it. It's built into the control panel. I don't think we can get it free. It keeps screaming. It seems to be suffering horribly. What the hell should we do with it? Frank! Morgan! Some help here! Damn it! Take hold of him! Don't beat around the bush! What? I don't care! Disconnect him! Pull! That's it! He's out, sir! We've managed to pull the Vardrag from the machine, but he's in a bad way. I think he's trying to tell us something. Transmitting. The danger! Great danger! Catastrophe coming! We owe you our gratitude for your courage. The time the mechanoids have to be stopped. If you reconnect, 
I can try to help using the secondary control port. Sir, some cataclysm missiles are still on the ship. Maybe we could use them. Awaiting orders, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Heading home, sir. Yes, sir. Our commandos are returning. Commandos have returned. Enemy 
squadron destroyed. Aye, aye, sir. are under attack.
Dear Admiral, I am told you succeeded in protecting the star portal. Excellent work. Unfortunately, you cannot return to base just yet. We have received a puzzling message from the main Vardrag system. We have been unable to decipher its exact meaning. It seems that something is causing quite a stir. Before we could ask for clarification, the transmission was interrupted. Please, cross the star portal immediately and find out what is going on. Don't forget that Rob Scheiman is currently on a diplomatic mission in the Ring City. Bring him home immediately if you consider it necessary. We can take care of any diplomatic tensions later. For now, the most important thing is to find out what has happened. Oh, and Rear Admiral, have a safe journey.
is only a segment of the entity. A landing unit, if you will. Can we destroy it? No. And doing so would achieve nothing. The planet is already lost. That's it? The planet's just... lost? How can you brush off the destruction of an entire planet so easily? Warning. Simple pragmatism, Commander. If I could do anything to stop the Entity, I would have done so already. I could sing laments until the end of time, but it would not undo the damage or bring a single dead Vardrak back to life. We are dead! We are dead! We are dead! Let's show a little decorum and think about those who are still alive. Angel, how did the Entity get here? I thought we stopped the mechanoids at the star portal. It must have found an alternative route. Enemy unit. Wow! Shisha! If we scan it, we may find our answer. Being evacuated. Sir, we have identified the Vardrag ship Sunrider. It is under attack by two other Vardrag ships. What's so special about the Sunrider? Sir, the Nemesis is attacking. Vice Admiral Scheinman is on board as part of his diplomatic duties. Damn it. Hail him on his private communicator. Rear Admiral, our scouts report that they have detected some kind of space anomaly on the far side of the entity. They are unable to identify it. Warning. Maybe this will answer our questions. Let's go and investigate. It's being Sir, evacuated. the Wanderer has deployed its full complement of rascal Praetorians against us. That's 12 fighters. The Mechanoid is attacking too. Marcus, at last. You have to help. We are stuck aboard the Sunrider. We'll do what we can. Hang in there. The Strider has been captured by the Mechanoids. They have decoded the Master Server. The majority of the crew are dead. I repeat, Tria We have a mechanoid infection. We are requesting assistance. Our systems are failing. I repeat, we are requesting immediate assistance. Lost. Enemy shield has collapsed. Yes, sir. Unable to complete task. Enemy unit found. Attention! Evacuate Chantris Sector immediately! The system can no longer resist the mechanoids! Everyone should evacuate this area immediately! Yes, sir. Enemy unit lost. Maverick reporting! We have brought the usual Three times in the name of the Green World. What's happening? Terminate docking sequence. Let's get out of here. Full reverse now. Enemy squadron destroyed.
unit found. Evacuated. Aye, aye, sir. Friendly unit identified. Unknown object detected. Friendly unit identified. Unknown object detected. Warning. Enemy unit identified. Friendly unit identified. Three times in the name of St. Ringwald, we must flee. The monsters of the judges have come to pass sentence on our weary, solid world. We are too weak to confront them. Let us leave while we still have our lives. Target ship is being evacuated. Affirmative. In position. Yes, sir. Enemy shield has collapsed in position. Target ship is being evacuated. more about this thing. Complete. The sphere consists of thousands of mechanoids. The resultant creation is far greater than the sum of its parts. Its task is to conquer the Vardrag planet and integrate it into the entity. The entity itself is observing from subspace. 
Do you mean that the entity can be present in more than one location at a time? Are there multiple entities? Lord, there is only one entity, or rather, well, it's easiest to refer to it as a single entity. But it exists in many forms, and its objective is omnipresence. That is why Annex's sophisticated systems, such as computer networks, laws of nature, or societal laws. Through these systems, it grows stronger, and it is spreading. Enemy. I think I'm starting to understand. But if the computer networks are the best substrata for the entity, why did it progress so slowly here compared with the speed with which it conquered Earth? Vardrak computer systems are infinitely more sleek and sophisticated than those on Earth. Surely that make an ideal medium. As I have already said, computer systems are just one part of the picture. The systems on Earth were perfect for the entity, as if they were designed for it. And you're saying that's just a coincidence, right? Bound. I am sorry, Rear Admiral. I have no answer for this question. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Found. Enemy unit lost. Enemy unit found. Enemy unit found. Enemy unit lost. Angel, what the hell is that? It looks like a wormhole. Your analysis is mostly correct. Mostly. It is a wormhole, but it does not have an exit. Not in the traditional sense, in any case. In English, please? Unit. Calm down, Commander. It is difficult finding terminology that you will understand. The passage leads into subspace, a place where the concept of distance becomes nonsensical. The wormholes connect solar systems via subspace, but their entrances and exits are fixed. This hole, however, leads directly into subspace to the Nexus. Imagine our galaxy is a sheet of paper. Its corners are far away from each other, so we have to travel a long way on this flat sheet to get from one corner to another. However, if we were to fold the corners of the paper and make them touch each other, then these points would become very close to each other, while still remaining distant points on the flattened paper. The space that surrounds the folded sheet of paper is roughly analogous to subspace. If we want to use subspace for travel, we have to know how to navigate once inside. We have to locate the point we want to travel to. Just as important is knowing how to open a hole in subspace and exit. Established wormholes save us the trouble. All we have to do is fly through them. All this suggests that the entity arrived from subspace and is able to open a wormhole anywhere it chooses. That explains how it managed to get here, even though we prevented the mechanoids from exploiting the Alpha Gate. It has the power and the resources to conquer other worlds. If it is at all possible to defeat the entity, we must do so at all costs. We have all the information we need. We can't do any more here. I advise that we leave. Enemy unit found. Enemy unit lost. Understood. Warning. Shield down. Enemy unit found. Enemy unit lost. Enemy unit found. Enemy unit lost. So many hollow movies have been made depicting the destruction of humankind and the galaxy that now I see it happening 
none of it seems real. Who could have imagined that an artificial god would spell extinction for human and countless other races? But this cannot be a movie. It is happening too fast, and the good guys are losing. The entity has infected the Vardrag's main system and is spreading towards their outer worlds. The ghosts report that the Gorgs are in a similar situation. Though they remain stoically unafraid of the Black Moon, their courage is no protection against the Mechanoid's relentless advance. Are we too late to defeat the entity? Can Angel stand a chance against an opponent that has conquered whole worlds? It is no surprise that on the eve of the final battle, my doubts have reached their zenith. I've grown used to them. My decision has already been made. Using the data we gathered, Angel and our scientists have constructed an anti-mechanoid shield. It has been mounted on six of our support vessels by the Vardrag shipyards. Within its 100 kilometer radius, the shield dissipates the energy matrix of the mechanoids, splitting them into nano-sized particles and destroying them. For now, the Gorgs and the Vardrags have put aside their differences and formed an alliance against the mechanoids. I just hope their races survive long enough to enjoy the new accord. It transpires that the planners designed Angel as a weapon to be used against artificial gods like the Entity. However, Angel is nowhere near strong enough to fulfill such a role. She needs to be shrewd and use the element of surprise, the advantage that stems from relative obscurity. Of course, this means that she needs our help. A formidable human Gorg Vardrag fleet has assembled at the Alpha Gate. It will attack the mechanoids in our solar system, allowing Angel to sneak through and fight the entity. I've been promoted to Vice Admiral and assigned with the honor of leading the operation. Though this is a huge responsibility, I'm concentrating on one thing. We have to win, whatever the cost. Vice Admiral, the time has finally arrived for us to get rid of our enemy. The mechanoid assault on their home system has made the Vardrags realize they cannot hide from the entity. They must face it, no matter how scared they are. Though the bulk of the task is still down to us, they are not only providing us with the opportunity to return to Earth, but they are dispatching a brand new fleet to join our forces equipped with the latest technology. With their help, we will be able to mount anti-mechanoid shields on our support ships, allowing us to attack the entity's forces head on. You and your unit are the first to cross the Alpha Gate, to activate and at the same time test the anti-mechanoid shield. Until the shield is activated, you must provide cover for the support ship, after which you will have to secure the perimeter until our fleet arrives. If the shield does not live up to our expectations, you will at least have a fighting chance of returning to Noah's system unharmed. Vice Admiral, the fate of Earth is once again in your hands.
Attention all units, full alert. Enable energy skeeters. Target the mechanoids. That's it, Marcus. Let's hit the mechanoids where it hurts. Charging any mechanoid shield. Cover our vice rears, Admiral. Oh, I mean, cover our rears. Vice, Admiral. Complete. Affirmative. Warning. Enemy unit identified. Enemy unit found. Warning. Shield down. Task complete. Aye, aye, sir. Unable to complete task. Angel, can you take them out? Not a problem. Look, the airlock is opening. No. As far as I can tell, it has gone. How can you be so sure? I bet he asked lots of questions as a child, too. How can it be gone? We would have seen it charging its IP drives. What kind of a ship was it, anyway? The ship is unfamiliar. It seems to use unknown spaceship technology. It probably originates from a race that even the Vardrags haven't encountered until now. No doubt the latest victims of the Entity. But where could the Mechanoids have gone with that ship? It's not their style to run from a fight. Unidentified ships! They're attacking! Attack. Sir, the shield does not block their shots! Warning. I'll be damned. Angel, can you recalibrate the shields? I could try, but I'm hardly likely to achieve satisfactory results within a limited time frame. Fine. We have to hunt them down. We can't call in the fleet until they've been wiped out. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Aye aye, sir. Aye aye, sir. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Aye aye, sir. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Aye aye, sir. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Aye aye, sir. Understood. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Yes, sir. Aye aye, sir. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Aye, aye, sir. Enemy ship lost. Enemy ship found. Vice Admiral, this is Central Command. As I'm sure you're aware, the first wave of fleets has departed for Earth. They report that everything is going smoothly. 
the shields are operating flawlessly and effectively. However, we have lost communication with three of our fleets. Their distress calls indicated that they ran into some kind of control field, which made their shields collapse and possibly enabled the mechanoids to seize control of their ships. Obviously, if the anti-mechanoid shields are useless, the whole mission is under threat. I appreciate the need for caution, but I do not believe our prospects are quite so bleak. I have located the center of the control field in Mars Sector. It is generated by a smaller entity ore, which requires a serious amount of energy occlusion if it is to be destroyed. We must get rid of it. Unfortunately, none of our mechanical ships will be safe in its vicinity, but it poses no threat to the Angel Wing and the Ghosts. I have designed a blocking field generator, which can neutralize the entity's control field. It can be quickly constructed from the supplies we have in stock. We have to get close to the entity orb and deploy a generator at each of the locations I have indicated. After the generators have blocked the control field, the fleet can enter, destroy the orb, and our mission can continue. The only problem with the generators is their size. Six of them will take up all the space in the dock, so we can't have fighter support. Sounds like a great plan. Thank you. Vice Admiral, you know what to do.
previously marked coordinates. I have marked the ideal deployment spots. Just approach the nav point. If there is no enemy nearby, the probes will be deployed automatically. I'll activate the blocking field upon the deployment of the fourth one and signal the fleet. And they jump in and destroy the entity orb. It's as simple as that. Simple? Are you trying to jinx the whole mission? Getting blown to pieces by a missile is simple, Vice Admiral. Not getting blown to pieces by a missile. Now that's more complicated. Commander, are you still lacking confidence? Haven't I earned your trust yet? If I'm honest, you've managed to impress me, Vice Admiral. You're from Earth and you're a man. Yet you struggle on despite those handicaps. It's been a pleasure working with you. I just hope you're not recklessly endangering ghost lives on some screwball plan. So this is what they look like. Your faith in me is most welcome, Ghost Commander. It is a huge mark of respect if a ghost unveils itself. Only a few people have ever been granted that honor. Take it easy, Commander. I realize what a privilege it is. Sir, it's the Balthazar, Vice Admiral Norbank's ship. Gone to the great battlefield in the sky. Whatever people thought about him, his bravery was never in question. That's for sure. May he rest in peace. I wouldn't start grieving from just yet. He's a survivor. You'll see, Commander. One day we'll all be reading the Vice Admiral's memoirs. Warning, incoming enemy gunboat. Enemy 
squadron destroyed.
Commandos dispatched. Sweetwater? The Vice Admiral's got a few more last stands in him yet. Yes, sir.
enemy ship found. Enemy ship lost. Blocking generator in position, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Under attack. Generator in position, sir. Affirmative. Warning, radiation hazard. Support energy low, device powering down. Blocking. 
playing field now. Complete task, task complete.
Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Warning. Incoming enemy gunboats. Unable to complete task. Warning, we are under attack. Enemy squadron destroyed. Unable to complete task. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Enemy ship found. Warning. Incoming enemy gunboat. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Enemy shield has collapsed. Task complete. Affirmative. Enemy squadron destroyed. Affirmative.
We seem to have removed the last of the obstacles hindering our fleet. It's time for the final battle, ship against ship. All units have the same objective, providing Angel with an opportunity to engage the entity in battle. Vice Admiral Cromwell, you are Earth's last hope.
Oh God, is this really Earth? What happened here? The entity is optimizing the planet. The transformation is not complete. I may be able to reverse the process, if I can defeat the entity, that is. Angel, I don't care how you do it or what your reasons are, but do it. Blast this wraith off the Earth. Do whatever it takes. I will do my best. You must get me down to the planet. Any of the relay stations will do. After that, you must wait for me, because if I have to flee, I can only board the Angel Wing. Look! Your welcome committee has arrived. Hurry, or they will destroy every relay station. the gunship. Thank <laughs> you. 
warning, our squadrons are under attack.
affirmative. In position. Affirmative. Understood. Both the wings and heart of a bee leaving a rose are heavy burdens. Warning. Sir, Enemy a Gorg fleet is arriving from the Nexus Gate. Chief Marcus, it is time for me to repay my debt to you. You don't owe me a thing, Chief Zadok, but I'm glad that you're here. We need great warriors today. I'm the <laughs> I will never shy away from such a battle. I'm the Your chronicle shall sing my praises. Hmm. I don't think I'll ever understand the Gork mind. Warning. Sir, no ships are approaching in attack formation. Found. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Enemy ship found. Unknown object detected. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Aye, aye, sir. Enemy ship found. Affirmative. Unknown object detected. Warning. 
Enemy ship identified. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Warning, incoming missile. 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 Warning. Shield down. Aye, aye, sir. Affirmative. Warning. Shield down. Warning. Incoming missile. 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 Aye, aye, sir. Warning, we are under attack. Warning, incoming enemy bombers. Warning, incoming enemy fighters. Squadron destroyed. Shield 
Gunship. Aye, aye, sir. Warning. Gunship squadron destroyed. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Affirmative. Affirmative. We have lost the gunship. Affirmative. Identified. Affirmative. We have lost a bomber. under attack.
We are under attack. Affirmative. Affirmative. Warning. Incoming enemy bombers. Warning. Incoming enemy fighters. down. Enemy squadron destroyed. Enemy shield has collapsed. Affirmative. Task complete. Aye aye sir. Enemy squadron destroyed. Warning. Sir, Vardrag ships are approaching. Warning. Ship is being evacuated. Warning. Enemy ship identified. We have lost the life pod. Warning. Enemy ship identified. Target device disabled. Enemy shield has collapsed. Task complete. Affirmative. Enemy squadron destroyed. Aye aye, sir. Yes, sir. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Enemy squadron destroyed. Warning. Shield down. Affirmative. Warning, ship is being evacuated. Warning, we are under it. 
Squadron destroyed. Yes, sir. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Warning. We are under attack. Fighter. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Warning. Fighter squadron destroyed. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Affirmative. Warning. Shield down. 
down. Warning, we are under attack. In position. Yes, sir. Understood. Understood. Affirmative. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack.
Listen to me, Vice Admiral, because this will be our last chance to communicate. I am battling the entity, but it keeps replenishing its energy through the gates leading to its other worlds. You have to lock down those gates. I had the Angel Wing create the proper tool for this task. You only have to approach the specified locations. Do not, under any circumstances, approach the black hole. In position. All right, we'll lock them down. Just hang in there. Sir, I have marked some secure points around the singularity. Thank you, yes, sir. Why isn't our shield up? It does not appear to work within the Nexus. Just what we need. But there's no turning back now. Let's go to work, people. Angel needs us. Earth gate locked down. Marcus, look. Oh, great. How the hell did that ship get here? Warning. Incoming enemy gunboats. Understood. In position. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Warning. We are under attack. In position. Enemy squadron destroyed. In position. In position. Congratulations, Vice Admiral. To be honest, I didn't think we would be able to defeat such a huge ship without our shields. It was nothing. Think of it as the climax of the longest lucky streak of all time. The black hole will do the rest. Do you think that it could be? Yes, sir. Over? For good? Are you asking if I think Angel can defeat the Entity? Or do you mean... Is Angel the same sophisticated artificial intelligence as the Entity itself? I suppose what I'm asking is, are we putting an end to one conflict only to sow the seeds of the next one? They're similar, of course, technologically speaking, that is. But I trust Angel. She lived among us for a long time. She had plenty of chances to turn against us if she wanted to. Oh, come on, Marcus. Don't be so naive. You saw how Angel's evolution took place. She didn't start off so powerful. Her strength increased over time. She helped us, that's true, but we helped her in return. Why turn against your allies before the final victory? If she defeats the Entity, she won't need our support anymore. Who knows what she'll decide? The future is always uncertain. I still trust her. The Entity is virulent, aggressive. It annexes entire systems in order to develop. Angel is more subtle. She adapts to existing systems, finds her way through them intuitively, integrates them, and does her best to understand them. That's how she grows. Chakra's gate! Locked down. I hope you're right, Marcus. As for now, what will happen to the Earth?
If she defeats the entity, she will reverse all the damage done. That is what she promised to do. And if she lied? Then we are all lost. Affirmative. position. In position.
Are we okay? Did we escape? Yes, sir. But the Nexus was destroyed. What happened after that is there in the history books for everyone to read. The Earth needed time. Lots of time. Did Angel really die? I never truly believed that. Her goals were broader than sacrificing herself for the Earth. She outgrew us a long time ago. She selected this location. I became a new Moses coming down from Mount Sinai. I will never forget the things she told me before she left to fulfill the task she was designed for. To kill the gods. <laughs> 